So look now, Muhammad is a prophet of God. Muhammad, he came to deliver a message of God. Is the message of God, which from God, teaching me decency or teaching me to be a filthy person going after lust to rent a woman, pay her money so she will take off her panty for me? Is that what God teach you? Is that what God's teaching me? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't read any of that in the Quran. No, this is what the Quran is saying. You agree? You said, to me, you said to me, you said to me, you heard of the muta, you know what the muta. So what this muta mm -hmm. is, muta is, you rent a woman, you rent a woman literally. And Temporary you nikah, yeah? What nikah? I mean, this is rent. Nikah is not rent. and Rick, Nikah is the F word, my I mean, friend. Nikah is the F word. Nikah does not mean marriage. They lie to you. This is why you're a prophet, he says. Allah curse the one who do nikah to his hand. Do you F your hand? I mean, do you marry your hand? Nikah is the F word. Muhammad, he said, I will show you the hadith. When your wife, she have her period, do everything with her, which means sexually, except nikah. She's your wife. Are you going to marry your wife? So if the word nikah means marriage, you don't marry your wife. She is your wife. He's telling you, when you are married and your wife, she have her period, do with her everything except a nikah. How we can show you the hadith. So nikah does not mean marriage. Secondly, look what your Let's prophet said. Let's see the hadith. I will show it to you. But look this. Read this one first. Yeah. Can you read it? Yeah, I'm reading it. Yeah. Okay, read it loud so we, people can hear you. Uh, Allah's uh, apostle said, if a man and a woman agree to marry temporarily, their marriage should last for three nights. And if they like to continue, they can do so. And if they want to separate, they can do so. I do not know whether that was only for us or for all the people in the general. In the general. What Abu is Abdullah al-Bukhari said, Ali made it clear that the prophet said, the muta marriage has been canceled, made unlawful. Okay. So... What kind of marriage you go to a woman, you say to her, can we stay together for a day, two, and we can make it three. If we like, we can extend. If we like, if we don't like, we can stop. Is that what marriage for? Listen, Christian Prince, what's your what's your name? So I can speak Christian, to you this is my name, Christian Prince. Christian. Uh -huh. So Christian, I'm going to bring someone who's an expert. Again, this is not in my realm. I had a question out of genuine curiosity. But this one is not in my realm. I'll bring someone who has a PhD who's All been right. studying this for 30 or 40 years. All okay? right. Before you go, let me show you the yeah. hadith I promise you to show you about a nikah. Just to show you that nikah, when they say to you it means marriage, it's a lie. This is the hadith. Your prophet says, when you do, the Jews, when a woman, she have her period, they don't touch her. So Muhammad, he told them the opposite. He said, when your woman, she have menstruation, when your wife, she have menstruation, do everything with her except intercourse. What is the word intercourse? Is nikah. Here we go. This is the word in Arabic. I will show it to you. This is the hadith. Here we go. كل شيء إلا نكاح. This is Sahih Muslim. And this is a Turmudi. And this is Sahih too. So do everything. Do everything except intercourse. So what the word nikah mean? Intercourse. You don't call the same word for marriage intercourse. You don't. Intercourse is intercourse. Intercourse is description for sex act where a private part of a man enter and penetrate into a private part of a woman. That was intercourse is. This is not marriage. Have nothing to do with marriage. So nikah is not a marriage. So you're a prophet. He is a messenger of Allah. He came to deliver a message from Allah and now he is commanding you to go and look at a woman to sleep with her three days, three nights, if you wish, or one hour, and you pay her? And this is message from God? Is that what Moses taught? Is that what Jesus taught? That we can go and rent a woman? And, and there's a conditions for the renting. You have to offer her money or a property, and you have to tell her for how long. And then if she agree, you can do it. So I go to a woman, I say, I will give you $10. For half hour, do you agree? If she agree, this is muta. This is why it's called muta. Do you know what muta mean? Tell me. Lust. Sexual, sexual joy. Lust. 
So how in the world this guy is sent by God and then he is promoting fornication and not only fornication, it's prostitution because the women she have to get paid. You cannot do it unless you, 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 you decide the three things. How much, how long, and then the agreement. Both they agree about the conditions and then she is lawful for you to go to the bed. And not only that, there's no divorce. How it's marriage, there's no divorce. Have you ever heard of somebody marrying somebody? Do not need to divorce the women because it's not a marriage. It is muta. So they agree about the time, 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is up, sorry, I have to put my clothes on. Your time is up. This is what hookers should do. You paid for 15 minutes. <laughs> your time is up. How in the world this is a person you can consider him a messenger of God? Well, you asked me, but I can't answer these questions for you because I'm not I'm not knowledgeable and experienced on this. Once again, I'm my a friend. Group. I am. And I know you're just I, asking. I'm assuming. Right I'm assuming, my friend. I'm assuming that you are a growing, growing man, and I'm trying to speak to you in a respect I can. So you, as a man, forget about being knowledgeable, being a sheikh, being a Christian prince. No, no it's forget about wrapping about things together. And but but do you but do you accept with my respect to your family? Would my accept your sister? Do you accept your sister or you or a woman you want to be your wife? Do you accept that she will rent you herself for temporary time just to have sex with her? Do you accept that your daughter one day she will grow up with my respect to your family? She grow up and she say, Dad, there's a guy who offered me ten dollars to sleep with him for half hour. Do you accept that? Okay, there's two things about this. Number one, we have to look at exactly what the tradition is because I just, I mean, it's it's not clear cut in front of me. Second of all, um, it's not it's a clear not, cut for you. It's not up to me. No, no, I listen, listen, listen. I want to know how in the world you, you see. You keep saying the same. Look like you. Because are, I'm not. I haven't read. The no, 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 no. You see, I, I don't. Hold on. I, I I notice that you keep repeating one sentence in order to escape any question. It's not, not a clear cut. Anything. It's not a clear cut. It's not a clear cut. You said to me this sentence maybe maybe more than twenty times already. How in the world is not a clear cut? I just said to you, you I just you, said like, to you, I just said to you yeah. something anyone can answer. Either yes or no. There's no clear no, cut. Because, what, what a clear cut. If your if your sister, with my respect to your sister, if you have any, she said to you, a guy he offered me twenty five dollars in return to sleep with him for half hour. Is that a good approved thing by you do you need a clear cut give me the answer is that good is that okay for you it's it's not my preference no why there's no reason why it's not my preference this is not my preference why are what, what you... why why is that because it's filthy is it because this will make her prostitute no there's no specific reason why and i'm not i'm not you know you see you're trying to escape no, the I'm not trying yes, to you are, anything. because there is a reason. The reason is this is not marriage. This reason is that this woman now she is selling her body with my respect to your family. So now you are trying to escape the the the, the immunity of the question, saying uh, this is not my preference. But this is no, not the about, reason. This is, is not about my friend. This is not about. This is not this. about food. This is not about salad. No, no, this no, is no, not no. About, There may be women who prefer this, or maybe women who don't prefer this. No, no, you, 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 you. Let us say you are the father of the house. Your daughter is your daughter. Do you do you appreciate your daughter doing such a business? Every few days, if, there's a guy come daughter, and if, he want to rent you're her. Saying if my daughter was a prostitute, huh? No, I would I would not accept this. No. Why? Because I would not like my daughter to be a prostitute. Thank you very much. So Muhammad is teaching you and teaching your daughter, with my respect, your family again, to be a prostitute. So how he can be but a messenger of God? That's my point, Christian. That's why I'm not. I'm not. This is my point. I don't know if he's. It's not necessarily saying that you're just teaching you know daughters all across the world to just be prostitutes. That's not. It's not like. In fact, there is a verse in the Quran. It says it clearly that you can be doing pimp business as long the prostitutes agree. So the Muslims now they have women, and the That's Quran. Fine, but it's not saying anyone has to be forced into prostitution. No, no, hold on. Who cares if I give you a permission to work as a pimp and use girls for sex to make money? How in the world I'm not in, I'm not forcing? And look, even if you force them, the Quran says Allah is all merciful. What do you mean Allah merciful? There's no punishment. 
There's no punishment in Islam if you are a pimp because it's permitted. Uh, especially, you, especially, but what is a pimp? A pimp is someone who forces and abuses these, these women. It's not saying that. It's not saying you can go out and force and abuse women. No, no. You are, he's you giving permission. To. He says, he says, force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a chastity. So, okay, are if they we? Choose it what? Are we a religion who teaches chastity, or we are a religion who says it's okay to be a pimp? The verse saying clearly, force them not to do prostitution. If, if they choose not, sorry, if they choose not, don't force them. But if you force them, Allah is merciful, which means nothing. So a bunch of yeah, women. It's, not, it's saying you, you cannot force them, which is the definition. No, no, of no. It says you can force them. It says you can force them because if you force them, Allah is all merciful. There's no penalty. So, and what if they agree? And, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So now there's a guy, his name is Andrew Tate, and he opened yeah. a business bringing girls to open their legs in the front of the cameras. They agree. He did not force them. Do you agree right. with that? Is that okay yeah. for your moral? For my moral? Yeah. Did, did those girls choose the business? Did they say they, they choose? No problem. No. So are you saying to me that you support prostitution as long as the girls they like it? Huh? Did I ever say that? No. No. Did so I'm, I say I would that's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm asking you. So now... Would I feel comfortable with my daughter? No. But did people... Is everyone a Muslim? No, there's going to be people. We are not are talking Muslims. about everyone. We are talking about Muslims. The Quran is the book of the Muslim, not the book of the Hindus. And this is the verse given to you, not to me. I'm not a Muslim. So, first, not your girls is to do prostitution if they choose a recipe. So, what if they don't choose a recipe? It's okay. And even if they don't choose a recipe and you force them, Allah is more merciful. Clear verse that you can do prostitution. And it's more clear if they agree. So, but this is against all God teaching. This is against the you know you Muslim you say the Bible is corrupt, but you will not find one verse in the Bible saying such a filthy thing. The Bible says the opposite. Jesus says if a man, he his eye his eye will mislead him. It's better to take it away, unblock it. Otherwise, if that will will, will stay there, will, will send you all of you to the, to hell. This is what Jesus said. Jesus yeah, said forbid us. Yeah, but if you want us, to talk about what Jesus said, I mean what. There's things that Jesus said that were similar in, in the Old Testament. So Show me where in the Old Testament says you can be a whore. Go ahead. Beat me. I mean, De Deuteronomy, there's plenty of places, but I know it's... No way, that's false. Of, that's false. That's yeah, false. That's false. No, it's not false. That's false. But you won't admit, but, you won't admit that my, that's my friend, Jesus' word. My friend, fornication in the Old Testament, the punishment is death. Death. Stoning to death. In your religion, there's no... Stone into death. Muhammad later he stole it from the Jews, and now we can't find it in the Hadith. What did, what did it say in Deuteronomy? Uh, what was it? Deuteronomy twenty. Let's see. Are you pulling up Deuteronomy? You tell me what it says. I'm looking. Uh, I think it was Deuteronomy twenty one. You can tell me what it says in 21. It says you can okay. be, you can open a prostitution business. No, it doesn't talk about prostitution business, but also this is also you, you, so you're comparing this to a pimp. Once again, a pimp is someone who abuses their woman and who forces these women. I mean, you go read the stories, go, go, go read all the stories. My about friend, when you, when you, don't tell me, go read the story. Show me what you're talking about. There's nowhere there. It says you can, if a man, he lay down with the women. He have to marry her, because now this is a, this is a tradition of the Jews. Nobody will marry her. So if a man he found laying with the women, he have to and he cannot divorce her. He cannot forever. That's it, because now they are doing they sleep together. But if a man is married or the women is married, they will be stoned to death. You're a prophet. He went to his own son wife. He found the wife alone, and what he did, he flirted with the wife, and then the wife, she came, when the husband came back, imagine you are not home, your father come to visit you, and then the wife, she says to you, well, your father was here, and he says he fell in love with me. And then what happened? The son, when he heard this, according to the hadith says, Fafatina Zaid, he got it, uh-oh, my dad is sleeping with my wife. So he went to his father and he said to him, Father, I want to divorce her. She is arrogant. She is so proud. She used bad words against me. So he said to him, 
O oh son, keep your wife for you. And then Muhammad, he felt bad. He want to have the women. It's time. So he, he claimed that his God, he sent him a verse saying to him, Hey Muhammad, why you are telling your son, why you are telling Zaid, that keep your wife for you when Allah gave you the women. How Allah gave the women to Amman. You're talking about Zainab and Zaid? Zaid, exactly. That's just, that's not how the story went. And I know people love to just take it out of it's how not, the story it's not, went. It's, it's what? It's, it it's what? It's it, what? It's not how the story went. It's not. It's what? It's not how the story went. How the story went? Tell me. It was a while ago when I did the research into it. Uh, okay, tell me. I, I, I learned from you. Go ahead. Sure. I mean, I'm not. I'm not here to be a teacher. That's the my thing. friend. My friend. Humility. When you say this so, is not how the story uh, happened, I have it from your books. Again, I, I need to need. I need. I do not need to remind you. I'm not being uh, like arrogant and proud of myself, but I need to yeah. remind you. I'm a Christian prince, and people they will make a million video against me if I am not telling the truth. I can show you. I can show you right now in two seconds the reference how the story went. By the way, this just reminded me, Christian. Did you? Ever debate Hamza Den? I never heard of this guy. Who is the guy? You did hear of him. Huh? You did not hear of him? No. Okay, go through uh, Hamza Den. Well, you know, uh, I, I, will, I, will, I will let you do the, uh, do me a favor. Why you don't yeah. call, call him and tell him this guy is trying to convert me out of Islam. He is lying to me. <laughs> Honestly. I'm not saying you're lying. No, 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 no. I want you to. No, I am asking you to say that to him. Yeah. Say, it, I want you I to don't come. Have phone number. No, no, I want you to say. Come to him, come, and I want to enjoy you destroying this guy. Make him crush him. Can you do he me a favor? He said he asked you for a debate. Oh, you know, I, yeah. uh, maybe he's just a kid oh. then, because because how come I don't even remember his such a name? Obviously, he's not. No, he has, he, has a, he has a big channel on YouTube, just like you. Yeah, there's many kids, all of them, they claim that, you know, but they don't know, they have knowledge, no knowledge. Let, let him come, here we go, he can join you. He's he nobody. has 313,000 subscribers, he... He said you denied the debate. So My we'll friend, I, he's, he's a liar. He, let him show you the screenshot where I deny. And I thought you don't know did, him. Did you oh, call? Did, My friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, I got you. Did, did, okay, did, maybe he did, is. Did I, deny, did I deny you when you text me? Did I block you? Of course not. Okay. Christian, I'm not hating on you. No, 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 Same no, way, no. I'm not when him. somebody says that I deny, deny debating him, it never happened. I open my Skype. I keep saying, okay. who want to call me? Okay, I'll, I'll contact him and I'll have him come debate you. But anytime, here's, here's what I'm saying. Anytime, huh? my friend. Any, but look, look okay, what okay. happened. I look what happened. That, look what happened. So, the story, the story in the verse we are talking about, you can open right now the interpretation of Al Qurtubi. Don't yeah, listen to from me. My, from my research that I did on it, what happened was uh, Zainab and Zaid, they divorced. No. So, the, the, listen, listen. Uh, Muhammad. Uh -huh. Walked in to the to the room. You, I mean, we don't we agree on this part. Muhammad walked in. The wind blew the 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 shades away, and then he saw her naked, and he felt lust. Yes. Ah, but he she was divorced then. No, 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 no. No, this is prior. Okay, so now the prophet, he get horny because he saw his own son wife naked. That's. I mean, the, I read the. The uh, the tafsir, and I don't know what you would call it, maybe the narration, but he he didn't get horny. He admired her. Ah, but no, he said to her, "Subhanahu wa alifu al Praise be to Allah who made my heart to flip for you. But she is married. But isn't it, this is against what God moral teach? Is it love? So you Muslims, you 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 tell your wife to cover her hair, to wear a burqa, and the Prophet told us that. And now the Prophet come to my house. When I am not there, he see my wife. The wind uh, uh, opened uh, uh, like her clothing, and she so I mean wind inside the house. That's not funny. her clothing. No, it was it was the shade. No, she was in a private room. No, it says cannot mutafaddila, which means she is wearing almost nothing. I can yes, show it, you. Yes, it moved. So do you know the shades? There's shades between the doorways. There wasn't doors. My right? friend, what shade? Those are very small. Small tiny room is not even a house. So okay, so when you walk into a house, when you walk into a house, uh -huh. and you don't know, you're looking for Zaid, right? How will you know he's not in the house? The, this is what the story is saying. The story says that Zaid is not there. Yeah, he was. But who? What was he doing there? Was he going for Zainab? 
Or was he looking for Zayd? Well, do he have the right to get inside the house when the husband is not there? He get in. And not but only how that. Would he, how would he know? He's, how does he know Zayd's not there? He's looking when you for knock at the door, you knock at the door, the wife, she opened. Is your, husband, is your husband here? No, he is not here. What this drama is about? So if he is no, not there. No, 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 no. Was the wife in a private room? Yes or no? What private room? This guy was a slave originally, actually. He don't have a, they have a small tiny house. The private room behind the shades. Huh? What shade? What shade? Okay, show me the story. It says a shade. My friend, listen. I don't, I don't know where it is. Listen, listen. Here we go. Let me, let me give you let me give you the reference. Here we go. This is local to me. Sure. You can use Google Translation. I understand you don't speak Arabic. But you can open it in Google Browser. And you can uh, use Google Translation. I will post it in the chat. You can click there. So everybody can have the link. You will see, not only that, Aisha, she claimed there's a miracle happened. Since then, each time the husband, he tried to have sex with her, his penis swell. This is the miracle of the penis. So now, okay, then, then the, but the Tufts here mentions that they, uh, they divorced for reasons no, of different No, classes. my friend, my friend, the verse in the front of you confirm that Zaid Zaid came to his uh, father saying, I want to divorce her. He said to him, no, don't. And yes. I, I just gave you the link. I just gave you the link where it says it clearly that the the, 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 the penis of uh, uh, <laughs> of Zaid, you know, he swelled. Let us see. Let me be sure that this link is the one have the story. Hold on. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so have you ever heard of a, of a magical... Uh, 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 a miracle like this so now I like a, I like a woman and now uh, <laughs> the, the husband penis swell because he want to have sex with his wife so what God he don't want him now to touch her because she's a preserved to the to Muhammad you know Christian I actually have a question about this okay um, do you believe that this is a true story will you tell me are you saying to me you Muslims are a bunch of liars you tell me do you believe it's a true story are you as a christian i don't believe, believe any story? story about muhammad is a true i don't believe even a story muhammad okay. exists but uh, this is not my my belief this is your belief you don't believe that muhammad exists no there's no proof of him what, what there's there's no person his name in history is muhammad same time how muhammad he claimed to be a prophet of god yet he called himself muhammad because muhammad is a title for god the praised May one show me proof for the the writers of the gospel hold on who is the one i will change topic who is the one who you call him the praised one? The praised one? Yeah, who is the praised one? One we praise? Allah. So why Muhammad, his name is the praised one? Where does it say it? Let's see. What? And Muhammad, and there, Muhammad right means the praised one. You, but uh, there's different... What I the, don't even know what you're referencing there. What different, we, my friend, if his we name... Praise, Habibi, we, we praise prophets as uh, as messengers of Allah. No, no, no. His name is the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. How he is, how you Muslim you claim that you worship a God, his name is Allah, yet your his messenger, his name is the praised one. When in fact this should be Allah, because he is your God, Allah should be Muhammad. Okay, according to you guys, the uh, Muhammad means what is it? The desired something something in the in the Jewish Psalms. I don't care what about that, what the, the my Hebrew? friend, my friend. Okay. okay. The Hebrew, Hebrew. No, there's not no such a thing. But uh, uh, yeah, there is. No. So in the he, uh, man. Uh, Are you talking about that? Ahmad Didat? Yeah, uh, well, I'm talking about what? Are you talking about Ahmad Didat when he said Muhammadim? Yes. Yeah, but that that is the same word used for female. So is he a wife? Is he a woman? Okay, then then you cannot use Google Translate on this phone call because Google Translate translates I, I don't, the exact I do not need Muhammad. Google Translation. I'm asking you to use it because you don't speak Arabic. I'm an Arab. I'm okay, trying. I used Google Translate on the Hebrew. It came out to Muhammad. It didn't come out to anything. That's else. false. But the Google Translate. That's I mean, false, my friend. That, Google yeah, go, even Google. If I, if I copy now a verse, because many yes. people, they are posting the same thing, Google search in the search engine. But if you post a word by itself, it's not going to come as Muhammad. It's false. There's no such a word in Hebrew as Muhammad as You're the right, name. Because it's a name. It's not a word. It is the praised one, and it is not what the Bible says. In the same time, when this did that, he speak about it. He speak about what? About the song of songs. 
No, I'm just. I mean, I, you, I'm just going off of your logic. My friend, you you, my, not my logic. Like, hold on, hold on. So, when 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 when, Zay, when Zainab, she married, she uh, she, uh, well, she like uh, your prophet, he flirted with her. She claimed that each time the husband Muhammad, the husband, sorry, the husband Zaid, he tried to get a close to her, Allah, he made his penis swell. Why Allah will make the penis swell of a man he is married legally and he have the right to sleep with his wife? Okay, if you believe that story, that means Jesus made his penis swell. Well, Otherwise, you believe in Allah. How come? What Jesus have to do with Muhammad when I sleep with Zaid? And Zaid you believe there's two creators of the earth, Allah and Jesus, and the, the Trinity? We don't believe in Allah. We believe that the Bible says everything created by him and for him. Because okay, that means. No, that hold means on, hold on. You see, you see, oh, hold on, you see, you are, you are jumping like uh, you know from from here to there. Listen, first <laughs> of all, obviously you do not know what Trinity. Trinity is not three gods. It's not two god, not one god. You never said it, was. it is three person, one god. So when we say I'm Jesus, we say when we say Jesus, we mean still this, the Father. When we say the Holy yeah, Spirit, yeah, I, I didn't say Jesus and the Trinity. I said Jesus, correcting the Trinity, right? The God, God, right? So I'm just saying, if you if you're saying you believe that his penis was swollen because of <laughs> because you know Muhammad wished it upon, that means Jesus. What Jesus have to do? I don't understand. What Jesus have to do with the story one, of the I'm penis? Saying, what the, one what the story? Yes. What the story of the penis of the, the husband Zaid have to do with the name of Jesus? Are you insulting my lord? Of course not. I'm so why are mixing? I, we are talking about by the a way, guy. I have penis against other religions. What? Here's what I'm saying. He, you want, uh, um, here's what I'm saying. If okay. you believe in the story of his penis swelling by the will of God, that would mean Jesus, right? So, like, the only God, there's only one God over the, the, the universe. You, you're, you're believing that he was making his penis swell. But, his, but your God is not my God. Your God is the Allah, the moon God. What That's does this have I'm to saying, do with I'm... Jesus? No, no, no. You see? No, this is the story. This is Zainab, obviously. I don't want to be rude to you. But but uh, but Zainab is acting like a whore because a decent woman, she will not tell her husband that your father is a flirty with me and she like to go there. She is to the point the guy he went to his dad asking him permission. Even imagine the man don't even dare to divorce the wife without a permission from Muhammad. So Muhammad have full control of the man. He controlled the wife. He controlled the house. He controlled the son. So now the son, he's a man, he's a grown man. Why I need to go and ask Muhammad to permit me to divorce her? Because obviously uh, he's just a potato. He's nobody. Muhammad married him to this girl so he can go to his house anytime, sleep with her. And now he, have, he, he became powerful. So why he is going to go there when the husband is not there? It is time for her to be here. She is beautiful. And the hadith says, وَكَانَتْ زَيْنَبْ بَيْضَاءٌ جَسِيمًا Min atammi nisa'i Quraysh. She was one of the most beautiful girls of Quraysh. She was big, huge, fat, and beautiful. Because the Arab, they like to use fat women. So she's praising her beauty. And now Zainab flirted by Muhammad. And obviously Zaid, he knew that they are sleeping together. And about the story of his penis, this is your story. But let us assume it's true. That means your God is Satan, because a true God cannot and will not promote a man going to the house of somebody, looking at the wife when she is married. For this yeah, is but that's just that's just a fabrication of the story. That necessarily is fabricate. Okay, let us let us it's not let us assume. It has to do with let us assume a little bit of falsehood with your own opinion. Okay, let us assume. Huh? Yes. Let us assume that this story is fabricated by who? By Muslims. Uh, I mean, the, the only story that I read was that they, and this is aside from, you know, just random books about the history, uh, they, they decided to divorce. So, okay, from the beginning, uh, Muhammad, uh, the story about him going into the house looking for Zaid, the wind blew the shades away and he admired her. It doesn't okay. matter, my friend. If I have little decency, that means Muhammad have no decency. Because if I'm a prophet of God, even I'm not a prophet of God. I never been, and I will never be. I'm not qualified. 
even to be a priest because I am a sinner man but I will never go to a friend house not a son someone is my friend and I will never ever flirt with the wife of my friend I prefer to shoot myself in the head before doing so I haven't read anywhere where he was flirting with her while they were married what did, no, well, the whole story about the there's no story about this except she is married I just give you the link. She's married and they divorced. Why? Because no, no. Even the Quran confirmed that. The Quran. Look, listen, my friend. Listen. I've so, read it. I've look, read it. Show me. Don't tell me you read it. You are just being. I don't want to be rude to you. You are being arrogant. So listen. Don't tell me I read it. I'm not being arrogant. It's a big fat. Okay, give me the reference. Go ahead. No, you give me. You're the one on the offense. Uh, thank you very much. So don't tell me I did read. You did not read it. It's uh, there's no such a th such a thing. There's not a single interpretation saying what you are saying. Absolutely no. Okay, I mean that's. So don't tell me I read it. And here we go. I just showed you in the page. Here we go. It says, وَفِي بَعْضِ الرِّوَايَاتِ أَنَّ زَيْدًا تَوَرَّمَ ذَلِكَ مِنْهُ حِينَ أَرَادَ أَنْ يَقْرُبَهَا So Zayd, each time he came out to his wife to do boom boom with her, Allah, he made his penis swell. I don't, I don't see anything on the TV yet. You will see it. I know. I can use Google Translation too, you know. But okay. I I, yeah. pre I prefer to show it to you first in Arabic, and then I will I will turn into Google Translation. If again, if we want to refer to Google Translation, but I'm all right, here we go. That. I will click. So the tafsir is lying. The the trend the ah, translation. you Muslims, you Muslims, you make stories to make your prophet look bad. You see, the Muslim they never saw it bad. This is why they put it there because it's, it's, the prophet he have a privilege in the same page it says that prophet have 16 privilege number 10th if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce imagine man imagine okay out of no arrogance why did he not force them to divorce he did this what happened he did when he when he told Zayed to stay with her no you see what what the, what the verse saying the verse saying, are you afraid from what people will say? In regards so to Muhammad, when Zayd came to him, he said, according to the story, he said to him, uh, keep her, keep her. But he just came from there flirting with her. And the verse, it says, uh, uh, is that because you are afraid what people will say, which means you marry his own son, wife? Who said that? The Quran, the verse, read the verse. <laughs> the the idea of that ayah is that it's confirming you can marry the ex-wife of your previously adopted son. No, it says why you why you tell the guy don't leave his wife when this is what Allah informed you that she she is yours. So this is a proof that this is happening when she is married yet. The verse itself. What verse? In the Quran? This is a verse in the Quran. The verse we are talking about it. What we are talking about for the last uh, 30 minutes. What's wrong with okay, you? Okay, which verse is it? Which verse? What? So all this I, time what, you do not know what we are talking about? No, I know what we're talking about. I've read the verses. al Ahzab, the chapter of al Ahzab, verse said. number 37. al Ahzab, verse number 37. Is it here? Verse 37, ya Allah. And remember, O Prophet, when you said to the one, and this is referring to Zayd, uh -huh. from whom Allah has done a favor and you too have done a favor, keep your wife and fear Allah, while mm -hmm. concealing within yourself what Allah was going to reveal. And so you were considering the people, whereas Allah was more worthy of your consideration. So when Zayd totally lost interest in keeping his wife, mm -hmm. we gave her to you in marriage. So that there would be no blame on the believers for marrying ex-wives of their adopted sons after the divorce. Uh -huh. And Allah's command is totally binding. This is what I just said. Okay. So the man, he came to his father saying, I want to marry her. I want to divorce her. The father, he says, uh, don't. The Quran said, why you are telling the man, keep your wife. So as you see the story happening, when she is already still married. And Allah saying to him, it's revealed to you that this is she is yours. So Muhammad he claimed that Allah told him to go and take her from her husband. No, it's it's not saying that at all. It says that it's, it says why it's, you it's, okay. It's what? saying in the after the fact. 
No, Whereas, my friend, yes. it's, it's, it's asking him why you say to the man, keep your wife, correct? So when Zaid totally lost interest in keeping his wife, we gave her to you in marriage. This is talking in past tense. No, this, this is, is not this during is, the marriage. This we is a verse. This is a verse. This is a verse. Compl yes. Okay, my friend. Uh, when 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 the man when the man came to Muhammad, yes. and he asked for permission, and Muhammad he said to him, "Go and keep your wife." Correct? Does it say that? Uh, he lost interest, and he said, uh, "Muhammad, I don't uh, I don't know why." Okay. I'm so losing when Allah told him, when Allah told him that she is yours, is that because the man before the man divorced her or after? After. Even after they got married, Muhammad false, and false, false. Okay, then why would it be? Why would it say we gave her to you in marriage? Yeah, because now suppose because he been forced to divorce her. Muhammad is making a verse, fabricating a verse, claiming that God he gave me because people they are talking. What kind of a man he claimed to be a prophet of God, marrying his son wife? So now he fabricated the verse, says, "Look, Allah told me, so Allah told me, why you tell the man to keep your wife?" When I made her lawful for you, but how she can be lawful for him? He is his son. But you're saying this verse was written during the marriage of Zaid and Yes, yes, Zana. and this is all interpretation. I challenge you. I'm not being rude to you. I challenge you to show me one interpretation. Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Jalalain, Ibn Abbas, anything you want. Not a single one of them. Can we, should, should we, you want to go to Ibn Kathir? We can go right now in English. So Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. All, all right, here we go. Thank you. Uh, but now what you will say to me, Ibn Kathir did not say that? That would be hard. No, just read the whole thing. Uh-huh. Just read the entire thing. In yeah, okay. Let us see. No, I'm saying because you might, you know, we might play the game. It doesn't say that, CP. You know, as we wish. <laughs> yeah, because, you know... No. Uh, okay, let's see. Go to Al Ahzab. Here we go. And this is Ibn Kathir. And we go here. You see the page in English? It's loading. All right. I have it in front of me if you want to start for the rest of the people. All right. So this is Ibn here Kathir. We here we go. Yep. Is the page showing to you? Yeah, it's, it's just, you're clicking the... All right. Yep, good now. All right. So here, let us see from the beginning. Allah tells that his prophet says to his free slave Zaid, may Allah be pleased with him, who was one of whom had bestowed grace, i.e. through Islam following the messenger. And then he says, look, imagine they are, they are even telling him like, you know, you are being favor. I mean, you are, you know. And then he says, uh, uh, and he was a great leader, held in a high esteem, beloved by the prophet, and he was known as beloved and his son, and then Osama was known uh, as a beloved son to the to, to uh, of the beloved Aisha. By the, Allah. by the way, real quick, Christian. Huh? The the first part of this when you said Zaid is getting the favor. No, no. Uh, Zaid is you know they are they are like talking about that Islam did a favor for him. What favor? You exactly, took his wife. Exactly. grace. No, you, you. I mean, obviously, the man Muhammad he married him to this woman so he can have access to, and uh, he took him. Yeah. Why Muhammad he took him as a son if he wanna go is going to take the, the wife? No, no, I was I was just gonna make a point about the first part. Okay. Which was you, I you mentioned that Islam was bestowing him grace, right? Islam is showing him a favor, Zaid, for the um, for being the, a Muslim, for, for being a Muslim, the favor okay, is sure. being a Muslim. It's gone. Okay. Yeah. All right. So near here it says that I see talking about the worry. All right. Here it says, but you hide in yourself that which Allah make manifest. You do fear people, whereas Allah had better right that you should fear him. Ibn Juraj said from Aisha that Allah, uh, 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 may Allah be pleased with her, 
if Muhammad were to have concealed anything that will be revealed to him of the book, he would have concealed this ayah. And then he says, and then, but you hide in yourself, which Allah had manifest to you. So Muhammad is lying now, he's hiding it, according to the verse. So when his son came to him, Allah, he already told him, this woman is yours, man. So he hid it from his son, imagine. And then this is what the Quran is saying, people where Allah had better right that you had should, should, should fear him. Then he says, so when Zayd had completed his aim with her, we gave her to you in marriage. But when Muhammad was hiding that because she was still married, and this is when the husband came to her, to him, and he told him, keep your wife for you. So Allah told him, why are you altering the man when Allah manifests to you? Why you don't tell him that she is yours? That's it, he don't have anything to do with her. Yes, but when was he when was she considered his, which was after marriage? What after marriage? <laughs> after Muhammad married Zainab. Okay, my friend, the point is your prophet he went to the house of his son. And now he have a this why God wanna tell Muhammad this woman is yours before she got divorced. Whatever verse saying. The man is not he came to Muhammad, he told him, I want to divorce her. Muhammad says, Keep her. Allah said to him, why you are telling the guy keep her? Why you are, you feel what people will say? Isn't it me who told you this woman is yours? That's it? This is what the verse is saying. So the whole desire of to having the woman, Muhammad, he claimed that his God is the one behind it. Okay, there's, there's a website. Uh, it's called Asbab al uh, a book. It's called Asbab al -Nuzur. You heard of it? No. All right, give me a second. Asbab al nuzul let us go here in English. All right. This is a chapter to make it more clear for you. Uh, 33. And then 37. And then we can go one by one if you want, but let's go and see if we can find it in Asbab al nuzul Asbab al in Arabic mean the reason for the verse to come down. The reason for the verse, any verse. Ah, there's no, there's nothing written in English in here. Let us see Ibn Abbas. Here we go. All right. Not much. The same as Ibn Kathir. The one with the real details, the long details, is in Al Qurtubi. But let us see, let us see Al Jalalain. Give me a second. All right. See, he is his adopted son, and here it says, when he came to him, he says to him, retain your wife to yourself and fear God. So if the man retain herself, he is fearing God before divorce her. But you are hidden in your heart what God is disclosed to you. Disclose that he was manifest of your love to her. Do you see it? It's loading. Let's see. Muhammad, uh -huh. Muhammad, actually, by the way, Arabic doesn't say love. It says hawa, lost. So, why you fear, why you fear people telling the man, keep your wife when you are having lost for the women? And this is your Muslim translation, and this is Jalalain. You said to me she is not married, and she. this is after divorce. He said to the man, retain your wife to yourself. And fear Allah before divorcing her. But you had hiding in your heart what God was disclosed, what, what he was to manifest of your love for her. Mm -hmm. And who is this talking about? Muhammad. So retain your wife. They're talking about Zaid. Yeah. 
So Allah, the name Muhammad, Allah is not speaking to Zayd. Zayd is not a prophet. So Allah okay. is saying to Muhammad, why you are telling the guy, retain your wife while Allah disclosed to you, he manifests to you, based on your love to her, of the so fact, it's not, it's hold on. To Zayd or Muhammad? Huh? It, when it says, retain your wife for yourself, okay, that's a quote. Muhammad, uh, the, they are quoting the Quran. Muhammad, okay. he told the man, retain your wife to yourself and fear mm -hmm. God. So, a man who fear God should not let her go. Muhammad being a hypocrite. So, Allah says to him now, why you are telling the guy, retain your wife? Isn't it me who manifests to you based on your love to her? You should have her? <laughs> so, here you see that the man, according to the Muslim translation, which is wrong, saying he love her. In fact, he have a lust for her. So, why the man who is a prophet of God, he have love for a married woman. And not only yeah, that. I mean, I know it, it's and, not what it says in Ibn Kathir. Even Ibn Kathir says the same. You see, you're in translation. We didn't even finish Ibn Kathir. Huh? We didn't finish the, the Tafsir. My friend, are you we saying to me, every one of you Muslims have a different story? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just saying. So, Ibn Kathir, okay, hold on. You see Ibn Kathir in English. They cut. Mm -hmm. the, if I go to Ibn Kathir in English for the same verse, you will see how laughable it is. Because Ibn Kathir in English is not even 1% of Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Do you know that? No. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. <laughs> you know, well, my friend, when we laugh at Islam, we have one million reason. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Even when they translate a book, they what would they do? They, they, they eat the book. I have all the, 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 the books of Ibn Kathir in my shelves. And then when you read in Arabic, I do not need even to show you the book. I will show you. Hold on. Kathir is just speaking about what happened after the fact. No, no. my friend, my friend. I, I mean, I, I don't know. If you want to be a kid, I, I'm not, I don't want to be insulting no, you. I'm just, no, I'm it's really, not, okay, it's not up to you. It's not up to me. Okay, hold on. Go and ask any Muslim sheikh you want. If one of them, he says to you, this is happening after that, come and spit in my face. Deal? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, I it, challenge it, you. I challenge you to bring me any sheikh. He can provide me evidence and he is willing to record himself live on air. We will record it to mm -hmm. say that this has happened after the man he divorced his wife. What, what has happened? What? What happened that he have a desire for the women when she is married. Yes, he admired her. He had, no, he no, he did not admire her. He did not. What admire? Admire is something. I admire too. Doesn't mean I'm going to sleep with you. <laughs> what admire would this have to do with, 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 you know, you want to play with words? Suddenly now this admire? What admire? We are talking about sex. We are talking uh, about yeah, the women. She will be lust. in the bed. Okay. Obviously, look, obviously, if you admire a woman look, who's naked. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Why mm -hmm. Ibn Kathir in Arabic is so long and Ibn Kathir in English is so short? It's two words. This is Ibn, Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let me show you. How in the word Ibn Kathir in Arabic is not the same as Ibn Kathir in English? What happened? The rat ate. The verses. Here we go. Uh, let us see here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Look how long the Arabic. Look how many words. The English is just two words, just two sentences, and there's nothing, you know? And then he says, uh, No, Tracy, that's not, what, that's not what I'm saying. Do you see how long? Are you, are Tracy, you, are, are you going yeah, with looking, me? Yeah, yeah, I see. Ah, I see, yes. Yeah, okay. According to Muhammad, Allah, he sent command to Muhammad to marry Zainab. <laughs> Zain, Zainab, sorry. <laughs> it's Allah's command to marry Zainab? Allah, Allah is the one told him to marry Zainab. I mean, the guy is victim, Muhammad, what can he do? He's doing charity. It's it's Allah's command to do to every action in our lives. Ah, so if I want to marry a woman now, the God, he will send me a verse saying, hey, 
This woman is yours. I mean, come on. Muhammad have many wives already. Why he need a woman? Why this woman? Why this woman? She is married. She is married to his son. It's a shameful thing. I'm not. It's it's not a shameful thing. It's uh. It, there's it no, is there's a no shame for a thing. In this story. There's no rules broken in this story. Okay, read. This is at Tabari. This is at Tabari. The 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 father yeah. of all interpretation, you Muslims have. It says here. So it says here, and uh, uh, the prophet once he came to the house of Zainab, of Zaid, and he and uh, uh, there there was a curtain, and the wind, left the curtain, and. In, so uh, he saw her inside her bed in her bedroom and yes. she was hasira so he fell in love with her or you know he liked her mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. uh, 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 he he said when 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 Zaid came to him he said to him keep your wife for you and why is that because simply Muhammad being a hypocrite. Why is that? I mean, you no, like the women. Because it was an arranged marriage. What? It was an arranged marriage set up by Muhammad. Why would Muhammad say, we're going to arrange this marriage and then I'm going to ask you to divorce her? Why? Ma I'm, I'm, the I'm man, the man is why. already married to, to the women now. Muhammad, he come to the house. According to At-Tabari, the curtain left up. She was wearing, obviously, something very nice, sexy, see-through, and he mm -hmm. liked her. Okay, now... He's... We're on the same page so far, I'm not denying anything. Okay, so now we are in the prophet, I am a prophet of God, I go to a woman, she is in her husband's house, she is married, she is not divorced, do we agree? Yes. How I am feeling in love with the woman who is married, and why? Because she's naked and you're feeling lust for her. Okay, so you're a prophet. He did not forbid himself from having lust with the women. She is not lawful for him. And the top of that, his How God. How he forbid himself? Listen, he's not Allah. Hold on, he's not Allah. But as you see, Allah encourage him. Allah says to him, "Why you say to the guy? She is yours. Take her." <laughs> because because Allah commanded it. What commanded it, I, my friend? I so are you say, saying, oh, no, hold on, no, no. Like my friend, okay. what kind of God he command a man to go after a woman she is married? No, because that's not what's going on. It's saying this after the fact. This is a, a, a translation and narration after the fact saying, in retrospect, why are you concealing this when Allah has commanded it that, you know, they will divorce because we believe Allah commands Zaid. He, he doesn't have feelings for her anymore. Because if, if you're going to... Isn't uh, it obvious Muhammad, that this verse is made up by Muhammad? I mean, what God who created the seven galaxies and... Okay, the, by your, the, listen, by your, listen. By your, and the billions of the stars... Listen, the listen, world. my friend. I, I have advice for you. In order to find out who is a false man who claimed to be a, a man of God, even if he's a priest or a sheikh, or me or you, anyone, he seek sexual privilege, money privilege, power privilege, he is a cult leader. He is not a prophet of God. None of the messenger of God. He seek, he seek his sexual privilege. He don't say, I am higher than others. You Muslim can have four. He can have unlimited. You Muslims are not allowed to there's go to the house. There's different levels, by the way. There's different levels. There's nothing Dude. called level. This is a scam. Yes, there's different levels. You see, you just, you just mentioned there's a privilege. Okay, hold on. Is it yes, true? Is it true that your prophet have sixteen privilege? Most of them are about sex. Yes or no? Yes, he had privileges over the rest. On, for example, how many wives he could have had? I'm not talking about wives now. I'm talking about sex. Okay, yeah, I don't know about the sixteen privileges. Enlighten me. What do you mean? Why, me. why he need them if he is a prophet shouldn't he be more decent? So now I'm a prophet. Why? But why I, was Jesus given the? Why was Jesus given powers? Uh, to heal people by Allah's permission. Why was Moses able to split the Red Sea? Why? Uh, hold on. First of all, your God cannot give power to Jesus because your God himself could not heal Muhammad. Your prophet, he died, and he could not heal himself, and he, Allah could not heal him. So how we can say that? Secondly, what does this have to do with this? Let's listen carefully. You're, mm -hmm. you're a prophet. You're a prophet. You are comparing your prophet lost 
to my Jesus healing people. When Jesus healed people, he's not doing it to himself. He's not asking for a privilege. He's not getting paid. He's not asking the women, hey, I will heal you if you sleep with me. You're a prophet. He healed nobody. He can't heal himself. He himself is sicko. And now, in the top of that, he make a privilege that any woman, he see her, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. And you are comparing what Jesus did healing millions of people. According to you, uh, uh, if you go watch the videos of Mufti Mink, he said, Jesus, mm -hmm. he waved his hand. He just waved his hand. And thousands and thousands of people, they are healed. He just waved his hand. He did not even do anything. While Jesus was... You're right. He did not do anything. It was by the permission of God. No, by, secondly, by, by waving his princess. hand. By waving his hand. Maybe what permission of God? What permission of God? Your God can do nothing. Your God is the most silly. Your God can't even know. He don't even know how the baby is made. He thinks the sperm became a blood. Did a blood. Your God, he don't even remember which one he created first, the mountains or the stars. Your God, he is a stupid. He said that hail come from mountains in heaven. We did, we did not go yet to all the garbage in the Quran. And this is your prophet. When his eyes fell into a woman, her husband must divorce her. What kind why? of a... Why, 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 why? Read it, read it. Here we go. It says, uh, let me see if this is the page, you know. When his eyes, he have a privilege. He have a privilege. The prophet of a privilege. Privilege number one, privilege number 10, 16. What the privilege is about is about sex and money. What kind of a privilege is that? So if his sight fall into a woman. Let me see if this is the page. I just use Google Translation. I'm just trying to find the word divorce. Hold on. Okay. Let us see. Look how many times the word divorce are. Uh, it should say somewhere if his eyes fall into a woman. Her husband must divorce her. And this is a privilege for the prophet. Uh, let us see. And coming with humility, may I ask why Muhammad told Zaid to stay with her? Why? Was it just for the show? Why Muhammad what? When, why Muhammad uh, um, told Zaid he should stay with her and, and stay married? Was it just for the dramatic effect? Or he is speaking is with her already. You know, Muhammad, obviously, he is using, he, is, he adopted this son. So, and he married him to this woman already. He liked her from the beginning. So, and but now, now you're saying he, he's been sleeping with her while they were married? Absolutely. Because okay, if, show me what if he allow himself, it's, I mean, the story is obvious. If he allow himself, according to you, you said that, he have lost with the women in the house and of her husband. So if and I, he concealed it? Okay, hold on. But this is your Muslim story because he's your prophet. But if I am a person, I claim to be a prophet of God, and I don't mind to have lost to a woman, she is married, that means anything is acceptable. What is different between lost and sleeping with the women? And not only that, the hadith says that when he saw her, he said to her, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip to you. And she heard what he said. So he's saying it loudly. Why he is saying that loudly to a woman? Why? So is that is that your reasoning? You're saying that just be, because he had lust, he is essentially the same as sleeping with her, yes? My friend, if I allow myself, I should not allow myself. I'm a prophet of God. I should fight my lust. I should resist. Yes, that's the point. I should not you accept. Resist. But look what happened. He opened he his mouth. Lit. He opened his mouth. And he said, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. I saw a woman, she is beautiful, she is married. Mm -hmm. The first thing I will say to myself, oh, she is beautiful, huh? But I will forbid myself, especially she is my son's wife, from yes. flirting with her. I so flirt he, can, he did. So are you denying that he concealed his, his interest? He did not, because he flirted with her. So why are you bringing up the point about him concealing it if you're just going to deny that? No, he concealed it in the front of Zaid, but he did not conceal it in front of the wife. <laughs> 
Show me where. What do you mean where? It's in front of you in the verse. It says why you can seal. I just showed you a Jalalain. It says that uh, what, you can seal your love to her. Yeah, but where where did he? By, where by telling where Zaid, by, by telling Zaid, keep your wife to you. So Zaid came. Allah saying, why you are telling the guy keep your wife to be a hypocrite? Isn't it? You know why you can seal. You know what? what yeah, you, when Allah was already gonna, when Allah is gonna reveal that you, they would be married after, and the my, message my would friend, come. That okay, hold on. It's so when he go to the when he go to the house, and you are the one who agreed that he saw her. He is just a human like everybody. All right. Yes. So the human who is like everybody, when he go to a house and he flirt with the wife with loud voice. Is Muhammad in control of his mouth? Is he concealing or he is expressing by saying to her, Oh, praise be unto Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Why he said that? To he's, her? He's, he's yelling this to her, yeah? Huh? You're saying he's yelling this to her? Yeah, yeah, he said that to her. Okay, is that, is that, first of all, show me where, second of all, that doesn't disprove anything, he's just admiring her. Yeah, I don't know. Like you know, I will give you this page. Maybe you can you can read for me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me let me pause that page for everybody. Uh, hold on. You can click in the chat, and you can open. I just post it, and if you read here, it should be. Um. Okay. Christian, all I all I want to know, because I can tell that everyone thinks I'm defending something so evil. I'm not defending anything. I just want to know uh, what rules were broken, or is it just based off the rule of everything? Because a man of God, if I do that, I am guilty. I deserve hell. A man going after a woman she is married, he is not a good man. As simple as that. If he is claiming to be a prophet, yet he is the first one to go after women they are married, how he can be a prophet of God? He cannot. He's not, go he's not going after women who are married. He is. Are you he went to a wife, a woman. She is at her husband's house. Look with me here. Read me. Let's start he from came, the beginning. Let us, let us read together. I just found this part here. He came yes, to Zaid. He came to Zaid. Asking yep. for him. And he saw Zainab standing and she was white beautiful and big the word translation here is powerful is wrong so she was mm -hmm. big and beautiful and white because the arab they worship white color they are racist uh, and then he says uh, one of the most perfect women of Quraysh. she's so pretty here he says he kissed her and said he did not kiss her actually he the translation is false uh, he he uh, he flirted with her, and he said, "Glory to be to Allah, the one who turned my heart to you." So he said that to her. Yes, yeah, so that's the definition of lust. Uh huh. Zainab, she heard what he said. Do you see it? So Zainab heard mm -hmm. what he said. Translation here again is not accurate. So she mentioned it to her husband, and now you will see. That the husband, after he heard what she said, he go to the father asking for divorce because now he noticed he has been a fool. He never mm -hmm. asked for her divorce before. I mean, the guy Muhammad, he came. He said to the wife, praise be to Allah, who made my heart flip for you. The wife, she told the husband, hey, your father he was here and he liked me, by the way. The son, right away, he go to his father. He said, listen. This woman, she's bad. She's not being nice to me. I don't want her. Give me permission to divorce her. She is arrogant. 
Yeah. And and why so in Ibn Kansir it talks about this, them being in different classes. Right? I assume she my was friend, in the class. My friend, Ibn Kathir, he you know, you see, I don't know. I, I I give up. Okay, my friend. Take care, take care. No, I just I don't know what to say to you. You ask Ibn Kathir. I mean you Muslims I'm are asking, very weird. I'm asking My, I my friend, my friend. All the stories agree, not a single one, not even Ibn Kathir, he says this is not what happened, if he mentioned the whole story or not, because there is some, like as an example, even in the book, in the Bible, there is a story mentioned in the book of Luke, and there is more details, or more details in the book of John, because why I repeat the okay, same so story? So listen, if the story already approved by all Muslims, you will not find one Muslim says this but is I'm, false. No, I'm wondering what you're saying the story is, are you saying Zaid uh, asked for permission to divorce her? because he was flirting with her or what, it, what as you flirting? see he never asked for that until she told him until that day why he don't ask a day before why a month before after she told him your father was here he flirted with me he went to his father so obviously he is a man he felt so upset obviously this woman she is cheating on him his this muhammad is sleeping with the women are you are you going to accept to be married to a woman who your father and he is a powerful man you cannot force him to stay away you cannot do anything to him you are nobody you cannot get rid of him so what is the solution he go he noticed that actually in arabic it says fafatina zaid fafatina which means he got it so never mention he want to divorce her never mention he have a problem with her and to his wife told him that your prof, your father was here and he flirted with me. And that shows arrogance? No, no. What arrogance? She have not. He's making an excuse, supposedly, according to the story. Why you want to divorce her? But obviously, this is not the reason. Because he never mentioned anything about her. Why he want to divorce her now after? And it says in Arabic there, it says, Fafatina Zaid. Which means he got it. Mm-hmm. He got it. He got what? He got the idea. Okay, you know what? Those people are already, they are playing behind me. The, 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 my father was here, Muhammad, who claimed to be my father. And he flirted with my wife. And here we go, the wife, she is telling me. I mean, he, he reached the point. He's not admiring her in his heart, sexually. He is saying to her. And as you see, obviously, the women, she like that. So why they don't, why would not believe that they are having sex already? So the wife, she don't dare to say well, to the husband, hold on, the wife, she will not dare to say, oh, you know, your father is step with me, huh, by the way. No, she said to him, your father was here, and he flirted with me. And right away, the son, he go to the father, says, uh, let me divorce her. And look how hypocrite Muhammad, he just came from the house, flirting with the wife. And now he's saying the son, no man, keep keep your wife, keep your wife. Same time the verse saying that Allah told him she's yours. Look how hypocrite. I mean, if this is what the reason, give him permission and the problem solved, but he is still a hypocrite. Same time, look, if we continue reading, you will find where it says that the Prophet he have a privilege and I find one of the most funny privilege that if his eyes fall into a woman, I think it's number 10th. Do you see number 10th, guys, in the page? Where is number 10th? If somebody can tell me where it is, number 10th. Let us see. Because it should be in the same page. Let us see. Privilege. Imagine I say to those people here, they are listening to me every day. Hey guys, I have a privilege. Who have a beautiful wife? <laughs> I'm a good man. Christian, I have a, I have a good question for this. Okay. Do you, don't you, do you think there's any hint of respect out of the fact that he felt lust, but he still told her, do not divorce? Instead of, instead of saying, yes, divorce her right away so I can have her. Well, what happens, my friend, already he flirted with the wife. And if he have a, if he have a good uh, shame, uh, 
shouldn't he tell the husband, by the way, sorry, I was in your house. I want to tell you I did something bad. I apologize. I, uh, I flirt with your wife. He hide that. He concealed uh, it. He concealed it. And Allah reprimanded him for concealing What kind of God? And your God should say to him, shame on you. He did. He reprimanded no, him for concealing he, it. No, he told him why you are telling the guy not to divorce her. He's encouraging him to have the women. It's the opposite. Yeah, because it's what Allah planned. I'm not... What the plan? Okay, I mean, my this friend is... Prove anything. Okay, so Allah planned to send the man to the house of the, the, the married, and now he left the curtain. The woman, she is in, she's in her panty. Muhammad, he saw her, his penis get up. He says to her, praise be to Allah. This is the plan of Allah. Thank you very much. Take care, my friend. Take care. I'm just wasting my time. Just take care. This is the plan. Yeah. Guys, this is the plan. We will not mention all the garbage things in the Quran, the scientific mistakes, or the history mistakes. We are just showing you the quality. The man who married children, six years old. A man, he go to his, you know, and you, know, and you say to me, what? <clears throat> He's a human. Well, I am a human too. I go to my son, wife, and I have sexual fantasy with her? Is that what every human do? That the human being, when he see the wife of his son, he want to jump on her? And then God, who's supposed to be the one who give us uh, guidance, he guide us to F her? This is against the Ten Commandment, and every commandment in the Bible, because the commandment of the Bible is not to wish a woman she is not yours. Don't wish a woman she is not yours. If you do that, you go to hell. How he can be a prophet of God? You know, we have a story in the Old Testament about David. He liked the woman she is married. He did something evil. He sent the man to go to war. What he did? He sent the man to go to war. The husband died. He married the woman. What was the response of our Lord in the Bible? He destroyed him. He shamed him. Even the son from that woman died. So while your God, he promote the sexual loss of your prophet, my God, he punished the man who do, and he did not go to the wife flirting with her. No, no, no. He liked the women. He's a king. He sent the husband to war. The man died. He took the women. He can hide that from everyone, but he cannot hide that from God. Our Lord did not say to him, good for you, David. You are a wonderful guy. Like, come on. I like you. Very good, very good, good plan. You send the man to die so he can take the wife. Wonderful. 